hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I am going to show you like how we are preparing the uh, queries after receiving the mapping sheet so what happens sometime we are getting the mapping sheet from the dev team or from the BAs but in most of the cases what happens we have to prepare our own mapping sheet based on the discussions that we had with the BAs and the dev teams and sometime with the clients so um, this is how we are making the mapping sheet so for each tables whether it is our source table or the target table or the intermediate tables so we have to make separate separate mapping sheet so this mapping sheet is for the source tables so it means um, we have to make the mapping sheet in that format like we have to mention the attribute name and the column name date column data types and if some specific rule we have to implement on that column that we have to mention in the column comment and the mappings format and some other so many uh, columns you can add in your mapping sheet based on your um, requirement so uh, this uh, mapping sheet is for the source uh, table data validation so what happened in this um, source table we are receiving one file so uh, that is why we have mentioned entity definition and the table name so uh, me it means we are just uh, um, uh, like whatever file we are receiving from the client we are just importing it into one source table so that is why we have mentioned the file maintains the ma mapping of source role to the reporting role so this is about the details of that table so uh, that is why we have mentioned that we are receiving the data in the file format so suppose in case you are not receiving in the uh, in the file format is uh, similarly you can mention in your comment okay so but in this uh, mapping sheet we are getting the data uh, source data in the file format so we are just uh, loading that file into that uh, table so means uh, from the file suppose we are getting the source data in the file format we are just uh, loading the data from the file to the source table okay so this is how this is called a flat file so from the flat file we are loading the data into the source table okay now what we have to do we have created one mapping sheet for the source table data validation so this is all about the uh, source table uh, validation so uh, for that source table means we are getting file of the source role code in the file format we are just loading all the data into this table okay so we have to validate the column name data types and whatever mapping sheet we are applying on that generally what happens uh, in the source table we are not uh, doing any transformation that is uh, only a truncate and load kind of um, load type happens in the source db uh, source tables that is why we have mentioned in the frequency like daily full load means whatever yesterday we have data loaded in that table we have to just truncate it and now uh, the new file we have to load into that source table so based on that we have prepared our one mapping sheet so what how we can prepare the um, query for the source uh, table validation we can just uh, um, check the number of counts present in that file and the same uh, number of counts should be present in that uh, table as well okay and uh, apart from it we have to validate the column name data type that kind of whatever um, details we have um, mentioned in our uh, mapping sheet same all validation we have to uh, perform in in our um, uh, source query okay, uh, source query data validation okay so similarly for the other tables we have uh, created a separate mapping sheet and their um, mapping sheet details also we have mentioned like uh, we have created uh, one column for the login reporting role and their data types and uh, 
uh, same kind of uh, information we can uh, update in the uh, in the mapping sheet here also we have mentioned that frequency is a daily full load current mapping means whatever data we are receiving in a file format we are just loading it uh, in a truncate and load it into a source file so a source file data validation is very easy because every day we are performing a truncate and load kind of means whatever data we have loaded yesterday will just uh, truncate it and load a new data file that we have received today so in generally in source table we do validation like count validation and matched all the um, data that present in a file should be correct okay so after validating the source table uh, we have to validate the intermediate tables okay for now we have to load the data and we have to perform the transformation and after applying all the transformation we have to load the data into a intermediate table or you can say that um, staging area as well so it depends on organization to organization how uh, you are calling these phases sometime we are calling it staging sometime we are calling it intermediate staging area and sometimes we call it intermediate tables so uh, whatever data we have loaded into a uh, source table again we have to um, uh, just transform the data and uh, tra uh, load the data into the st uh, uh, staging area so uh, now again we have to prepare a separate mapping sheet for the staging area okay so uh, like this way we have to prepare a separate mapping sheet so as you can see that here uh, uh, we are categorized segregating the data into a dimension tables and the fact tables so all these tables we have to validate okay suppose i want to validate this dimension table like this way so for that we i have prepared a separate mapping sheet for this table so what i have mentioned uh, in description this table has all combination of this 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 uh, and table okay and the driving tables means from where we are just um, fetching the data is staging uh, this table so from this table we have to just uh, uh, fetch all the data and check all the mappings so here the target field name means whatever table uh, we are now creating in the staging area uh, the name of the column start like this way so we have to validate all the field name and their data types and null check also will uh, um, do in this in intermediate or the staging table and the same way uh, uh, we have to mention the source table detail means uh, from where we are getting that field detail so this column we are picking from this table and from which uh, field name that the field name also we have to mention here so based on these detail again we have to prepare our um, staging table uh, query just to validate all these tables means whatever data are getting transformed from source uh, is uh, correctly transformed and loaded into the staging um, that uh, staging or intermediate table or not so like this way we have to uh, prepare a separate mapping sheet for the intermediate tables okay now after all the transformation we have to load the data into the target one so now just load all the data into the target so in most of the cases what happened that target tables are just the copy of the intermediate table but what is the difference so why uh, one question now comes in our mind like so why we are creating the target tables okay but, uh, if we already have um, a same set of data present in intermediate table so the answer is target tables because what happens in in this staging area we are not maintaining the history okay so but in target tables is basically a data warehouse 
data warehouse means we are just keeping all the history as well in the uh, target system but in the staging area or in the intermediate tables we are not uh, uh, maintaining the history of it means uh, the 10 years or 20 years data but in the target tables we are uh, maintaining the history whether it's a five years data 10 years data all the um, previous records we are keeping in the target table so that's why we are we have created one separate data warehouse for the target tables so i hope it is now very uh, pretty much clear like uh, how we are preparing or validating the source tables staging tables and the target tables okay so uh, in case you have any doubt please uh, ask question i will try to answer uh, all the questions okay and also please suggest me next video on which topic i should make okay till then thank you bye